We, what is meant by star means what are the columns are there here all the columns they selected by using the star star means nothing but the all the columns it is going to display no need to use select the column names here how many columns are there eight columns so it represents the star means all the eight characters eight columns here so in that case we can able to use the this way but here how many are we represented in the select statement p name one only one column we represented means now this table i am going to selecting only one column that is the e name column this is the first column e name is a my first column now okay so i give the order by two so only one column we selected but we are giving the two what happened it will throw the error it must be number of select list expressions if you give the figure one it will work because the one is one it's matching now e name is taking as a one okay if i give the two then it won't take because of the here yeah, i selected only one column i selected but i am passing the two second column there is no second column in the my select statement so that is given it's given the error clear guys so that is the reason the, it it given the error order by item must be the number of select list expressions we give the salary for example i'm going to give the salary now it will work because of the the second column is there now so that is the reason sal salary will be working fine the second column is a salary now clear guys if i give three what happen again it will throw the error there there is no third column here the select statement in a list okay this is the interview question they frequently asking guys so like that they are going to give the statement can you tell me what is the output you have to tell the so it will throw it won't execute it will throw the error because of the the number of columns are not available two columns are not available in your select statement only single column is there that is the reason it's throwing the error clear guys and then i am going to tell the sequence so they are going to ask the sequence in the interview also we have to know minimum basic so this is a select statement right select star from table name okay where some condition we are going to give okay group by some value we are going to call column having some condition okay and then order by so which class is going to execute first these how many classes are there select is one class from is the one class two third where class group by class having class order by class what is the back end which which class is going to execute the the server first that they are going to ask in the interview so they are going to give the some ca classes like how it will be their classes here so like that they are going to give the classes can you guys tell me which class is going to execute in the server first what is the sequence of the select statement execution like that they are going to ask in the interview and we have to know that is a basic thing what are the sql statement we are writing we have to know what is the order of execution the select statement order of execution we have to know okay here distinct also there for example i am going to use the distinct also where is that one yeah sorry yeah here the distinct i will explain you distinct what is the distinct i will explain you later so this is the my statement this is my statement so what is the order so first is going to execute the from class guys this statement is going to execute the first will be from class okay from where you need to pick the data it's not executed the select first 
first it is going to execute the from class what table you are given okay which table i need to pick the data first select the data so that is the reason first it is going to execute the from class okay now now i i know what what the table i the employee table okay now i just selected the employee table now then it's going to execute the general condition is there any condition they applied for this table so on the for this table is there any condition they applied general condition so the immediately after the from it is going to execute the where class from after the from it is going to execute the where class it is going to execute okay next it is going to execute the group by class is there any grouping functionality for this one in the statement there is no group by then it won't go to the group by okay after where it is going to execute the group by function okay next it is going to execute the having immediately after having group by it is going to execute the having class okay next distinct select and then last will be order by class after selecting the results based on these condi these things whatever the data is getting fetching that data we are going to display by using the select class after displaying the select class we are going to give the ordering after selecting we are going to give the ordering either ascending or descending so this is the way of select statement execution clear guys from class where class group by having distinct select order by so this they are going to ask in the interview point of view order of select statement execution somewhere i wrote the, yeah see, order of select statement execution okay clear guys i am going to explain this to tomorrow okay that is a distinct by using the distinct keyword you can able to understand any doubts guys today class any doubt on the today class so we have the these many topics we have to cover as part of the sql functions operator joins constraints sub queries some other functions other topics so these all those things we are going to cover in the our sql part okay